Hello and welcome back to another video. So I decided today I'm making my own Pokemon Unite tier list uh, based on my experiences with and against these Pokemon. So uh, yeah, Alola Ninetales is just like the best Pokemon in the game right now. It um, it, it just freezes you and then you just can't do anything unless you go full heal and I think uh, Alola Ninetales being in the game is the only reason why I would ever even say Full heal is an item that I would ever suggest using on any Pokemon. Um, and uh, down in D tier is Venusaur. Um, right, bear in mind, none of these Pokemon are bad. I don't, in my opinion, you can pick any of these Pokemon and you can succeed with them. Um, and well, you know. Uh, so this is basically what my idea is. S is where you know these Pokemon uh, do what they do, and they are unmatched. You know at what they do. You know they're just the best at what they do. Um, A is that you know they do what they do well, and uh, um, you know either the thing you know you know these just excel. These do what they do well, or the thing that they do well isn't. Um, you know, the best, you know, these are the best, these are just like, these are pretty good. B is like, they're okay, they do what they do, but they're not likely to make much of an impact. C is like, they do what they do well, but what they do well is not very good for the game, or, you know, they just have one thing that keeps them from being in D tier, which is, again, not bad, but they're just underwhelming. They they do what they do they don't really do well because of like they don't have enough bulk or whatever and Venusaur is supposed to be like a um turret mage and it just lacks the DPS um to be a real turret mage um and I really think that it just need that solar beam uh, either needs like um you know to just like speed up or just do a by 50% I'll just do 50% more damage or something. I just need something so that um, it, so that, because basically with Venusaur is you, the best way to use Venusaur in my opinion is to sludge bomb an opponent slow, to slow them down then to use solar beam on them and the problem is with Venusaur is that if they don't die from the solar beam then you are dead. Pretty much any, almost any other Pokemon can knock out a Venusaur if they don't have their solar beam. And that can make it, and that can be a really big problem when you're in a like team battle and they're not all just lined up. Like I have gotten a hit on three Pokemon before, and I think I knocked, and I think I like knocked one of them out, and then left two on like a shred of HP. Um, but that was just a really lucky encounter, and uh, I just think Venusaur needs more DPS. Um, and maybe more a AoE on Solar Beam, because Solar Beam is quite easy to avoid, um, especially if you have an eject button. Um, Gengar, I would, de ah, it's hard to say with Gengar. Like before it got nerfed, definitely S tier, it was like one of the best Pokemon in the game after the nerf. I don't know, it is quite, ah, it is quite strong, I don't know, hmm. I'm probably going to say S tier, because while Sludge Bomb Hex isn't as, you know, overpowered as it was before, it is still really strong, and um, Hypnosis Shadow Ball is also a viable option, but I don't think it's, I still don't think it's as good as Sludge Bomb Hex, uh, and not to mention that Gengar just shreds through Dreadnought, Rotom, and Zapdos, which are the most important plays of the game at this point in time. Meaning that I think, you know, it's an S tier. Um, Mr. Mime, it's hard to say with Mr. Mime. I think Mr. Mime has the lowest skill floor and highest skill ceiling. And what that basically means is that um, people who are new at Mr. Mime will be, like, really bad. Uh, and you can see, like, in my gameplay of Mr. Mime, I wasn't very good. Uh, I was, like, C rank. But I've seen, like, a rank Mr. Mimes, so I'm going to put it in B rank 
uh, which is you know in between the two because uh, when Mr. Mime is bad, it's bad, but when it's good, it's good. Um, and it is, it can be good, but it can be also just awful. Um, Snorlax, A tier. It's not broken, but it's the best bulky Pokemon in the entire game. Uh, and uh, it uh, synergizes well with Alolan Ninetales, where uh, Heavy Slam knocks the opponents up, and then Ninetales freezes them, and they just don't get to do anything that game unless they've got a full heal. Um, Gardevoir, same with Mr. Mime. Um, if you're missing your attacks, it's C tier, and it is quite easy to miss the attacks, but if, you, if you're good with Gardevoir and you've um, you know, spend a lot of time with it, it can, and you are cons consistently hitting your attacks, then it can be A tier. So again, B tier, just because of the, it, you know, it, you, when Gardevoir is bad, it's bad, but when it's good, it's good. It's, if it, you know. Uh, and that, that is another thing, the, um, in my opinion, uh, skill floor and skill ceiling of these Pokemon are very um, impactful on uh, their placements here, because Venusaur, low skill floor, but which is uh, good, but uh, with, unlike the higher skill floors of Mr. Mime and the, the Gardevoir, but lower skill ceiling, which is bad, uh, uh, like those two and also these three, where Alolan Ninetales and Gengar have lo low skill floors and low uh, skill ceilings. And no high skill ceilings, like, um, basically they're easy to pick up and play, you know, they don't require a million IQ to just do well with them, but if you've played these Pokemon a lot and you know, know them and their specific matchups, then you are just unstoppable at that point, almost, um, as long as you play smart. Absol, again, it's one of those Pokemon that Absol is completely dependent on its critical hits. Like, if it's getting critical hits in a game, then it's, it's, I, would, I don't know, I don't know if it's A or S, but if it's getting critical hits, it's like one of the best Pokemon in the game. But when it's not getting critical hits, it's one of the worst Pokemon in the game. So, again, uh, it's probably the most polarizing Pokemon is either going to be the best Pokemon in the game or the worst Pokemon in the game, depending on if it's going to get those crits and how the you know, player plays. So B, so it's B tier for that, even though um, I don't think the move, I haven't played it much, but I don't think the moves really require that much uh, skill. Garchomp, definitely A tier. Like, I'd probably say it's the best, one of the best A tier Pokemon. Um, just because it, when you do finally evolve into Garchomp, it just wrecks everything and it is quite bulky. Lucario, A tier, one of the best early game Pokemon. Um, Crustle, mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to put in B tier because it's not that bul it's not re as bulky as Snorlax, but it does have one thing going for it, and that's um, it can uh, eject by behind an opponent and then exit them into the into its allies, which is uh, which is you know a quite um, good trick, but um, ultimately. It has that one thing, and that one thing is very situational, and and it is, and it and it can pull up a fight on its own, and you know, it is decent, but I don't think it's a tier. Um, Greninja. Now, mm, I really don't like Greninja. I think I'm gonna go with C tier because it, if it goes into a one v one with almost any Pokemon. Uh, and, you know, they're both at full health, you know, same level, you know, it's an even battle. Greninja's gonna die, uh, almost 100% of the time. Um, because while it does have range, it's too fragile, and I don't really see it doing that much damage. Like, Cinderace is Greninja, but better. Like, there's no reason to run, in my opinion, there is no reason to run Greninja over Cinderace, because Cinderace has uh, just as much range, uh, I don't know about damage, but it's just like equal range, and I I just see Cinderace's you know leaving more of an impact. Also, Cinderace's uh, um, unite move is basically Greninja's, but better. It's the entirety of Cinderace. It's just Greninja, but better. Um, 
With Ninja's Unite move is shite. Uh, also, here's the thing about Unite moves. Uh, uh, Venusaur's Unite move is shite. Mr. Mine's Unite move is pretty good. Uh, Guide of Raz is also quite good. Uh, Absol's is easily avoidable, but it does make it invincible, which is stupid, in my opinion. Um, Crustle's Unite move, I don't even know if it really does that much. Uh, Lucario's Unite move, the only thing Lucario's Unite move is good for is... Um, Sniping, uh, Dreadnought, and uh, Zapdos, which, in my opinion, uh, while that is a very high skill, it, it keeps it from being one of the wor worst, po worst United moves in the game. Um, Garchomp's United move is one of the best po United moves in the game, where it just like destroys anything in its path. Um, Snorlax's Unite move is, I think it's quite good, but I don't think it's like the best, it's just like, you gain HP and you do a bit of damage, but it's not like, and you're basically invincible for a short period of time, but it's not like, overwhelming, it's not as good as Garchomp's, I'd say. Um, Cinderaces is one of the best, uh, you just like, launch a big fireball at your opponents and they die, that's it. Uh, Gengar is not as powerful as, uh, doesn't have as much raw power as Cinderaces, but it can allow you to escape a um, or a bad matchup if, you know, you do get into um, a bad matchup, it can allow you to escape, unlike uh, Cinderaces. And the Lonely Night Hell, so United Movies is just a nuke. Um, Talonflame, C tier. Um, the problem is with Talonflame is that it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter. If it's in a one-on-one -on -one battle, then it's most likely going to win. Like, it, it beats almost, it beats any of these others in a one-on-one -on -one battle pretty much, but, um, and it, and it likes to like come in and finish off opponents, um, but Pokemon Unite does not lend itself well to that style of gameplay, meaning that it's outclassed by almost every other Pokemon in the list. Um, uh, Charizard. It's Unite move is the only thing that's keeping it from being in D tier. Zero is just overwhelmingly powerful. I'd say it's probably the second... I don't know if it's more or less powerful than Alolan Ninetales, but it is very close between those two. I'm gonna say probably more powerful, because... Um, if it's like a Ghost Jungle, um, but if it goes lane, then it's not doing as well. Eldegoss, C tier, is just outclassed by Br Blissey, which is A tier, in my opinion. Um, you do have to use uh, Soft Boiled earlier in the, uh, earlier than with Eldegoss, but um, Eldegoss it can still heal. Um, Cramorant, I'd say A tier, because if a, a good uh, a good Cramorant player can just secure a lane on its own, but you know it's like depending on like the Cramorant player pretty much, but uh, not you know. It, you know, like Whirlpool, um, Surf is quite strong. Blastoise, hmm. Blastoise hasn't been out for very long, but when I played him, he seems quite strong, like mid-80 here, I'd say. Um, Pikachu, C tier. It's got trapping, and trapping can be nice early game, game to just like. Um, trap and then gank uh, an opponent, but it just struggles to keep up with uh, um, other Pokemon in in like mid to late game. Uh, Machamp is quite strong, um, but I don't really think Machamp's one of the strongest. Um, I'd say it's just barely in B tier. Um, Slowbro, I would actually put in C tier. Um, like I would probably suggest using. Slowbro over Pikachu. Uh, actually, Chaza. Let me just organise this a little bit. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Um, right. Uh, let me explain Slowbro a bit more. Um, as a tank, it's D tier. But as a disruptor, like if you're just like looking to disrupt the opposing team and support your allies, is easily a C tier. Um, because it, it, it just, um, it just does not let your opponents do what they want to do, and 
uh, while it's not very bulky, if you have a good ally with you and you, then you can just essentially, um, you know, help, you know, disrupt the opposing team and help your ally. So, where, like, say, you know, it's a 2v2 with Eldegoss. The opposing team could just ignore Eldegoss and just focus down Eldegoss, Eldegoss's uh, partner, and then Eldegoss just dies. Same with, with Blissey. But with Slowbro, you know, in a 2v2, they can't just focus down um, Slowbro's ally because Slowbro's like, uh, you, you know, uh, telekinesis, you don't get to do anything for a little bit, so then, like, Garchomp can just, like, take out the, the first opposed opponent and then, um, and then take out the Pokemon that was caught in telekinesis. And the only thing stopping from Slowbro from being higher is the fact that uh, Wigglytuff is in the game and I think Wigglytuff is, I don't know, low B tier probably because it doesn't it doesn't have very high skill floor or skill ceiling but it's just a better disruptor than Slowbro because um, Sing just puts uh, can put multiple opponents to sleep um, which is better than, than uh, Slowbro um, just uh, you know sticking one opponent in the air at any time um, and uh, Clefairy's not out yet uh, let me see uh, yeah, let me see if I can organize this a bit more. I would probably say BT is looking about right. Um, because you have the three Pokemon that are uh, depending on like how, how well uh, one thing goes. Like these two are depending on how well uh, the player knows the Pokemon. And Absol is uh, dependent on how, on if it gets, if it's getting critical hits or not. Crustal is dependent on uh, um, having teammates it connects as a, it's, uh, uh, the opponent's into build and I don't really see it doing much. Um, Machamp does one thing and that does one thing but it does that one thing well but it can do a lot of damage but I just don't, I think it's just very one note and then if you, if you know what it wants to do, uh, you, you can probably work, uh, play around it and, uh, I think like range, uh, characters are just bet, uh, can just out. I just bear on it, like Cinderace, um, actually King has not range, surprisingly. Um, and like Cramorant, if Cramorant see, like Cramorant or Cinderace sees a Machamp coming, then, uh, you know, it's GG game over for Machamp. But if Machamp can get a um, sneaky submission or dynamic punch, then Machamp's uh, winning that outcome. Um, Wigglytuff, like I said, it can put to multiple Pokemon to sleep other than, but, uh, and in some seconds, in like small envi enclosed environments, it can roll out and like bounce off the walls to um, quite easily knock opponents out and that, and the, but that is very situational. So these Pokemon have, have can be really good on situa in situa certain situations, but in other situations, they're not that very good. You know, these Pokemon, uh, they can, they do like, they can do something well, but they're outclassed by other Pokemon, or they, or what they do is just like very one note and not super good. And Venusaur just basically needs damage buff, and it's just a bit lacking in damage. Um, these guys, they do what they do, and they do it well. And it, uh, uh, what they do is like some of the strongest stuff. Like Garchomp uh, is like one of the best Pokemon. Garchomp, Cinderace. Uh, are the two and the um, and Zero are, are the best Pokemon for taking down a Dreadnought, Dreadnought, Zapdos, and uh, Rotom. So they're obvious. That's obvious with the how the game is right now. That's obviously going to keep put them in a higher tier as it is. And then these just you know they heal well. This is heal wells. Uh, Blastoise can take a lot of damage and it, uh, um, can actually deal out a lot of damage with like a Hydro Pump. Uh, stunning and uh, um, Rapid Spin just doing a lot of damage so it can uh, pressure um, uh, goals really well. Snorlax takes a lot of damage and it can stun with uh, Heavy Slam which uh, like I said if you're playing uh, alongside a Alola Ninetales, one of the best Pokemon in the game, uh, then your opponent opposing team just doesn't get to do anything really. Um,
Cromant, uh, that is a bit dependent on the players. So you could argue it should be in B tier, but um, Cromant can be quite good at just like securing the lane, uh, even on its own. So yeah, uh, Cinderace. Cinderace is just strong. These Pokemon are just strong. They, they just do a lot of damage and uh, uh, and also Gengar is one of the best Pokemon that's occurring in like Dreadnought, Rotom and Zapdos as well. Um, so these Pokemon are, are obviously just like here just because they're strong and you know. Anyway, uh, let me know what you, what do you think in the comment section below, down below. Do you agree with my assessment of these Pokemon or do you think that I'm being a bit unfair on Greninja because I don't know. I just don't like how Greninja is just like like Lucario is one of the best Pokemon in the game because it is one it's the best early game Pokemon um, and a Lucario can just extreme speed bone rush onto a Greninja and that Greninja just dies like also another reason why you had uh, to uh, put these Pokemon in these tiers is their matchup with the other Pokemon because like if a Pokemon has a bad matchup against Cinderace then it's obviously going to be a lower tier like um, Venusaur uh, Cinderace can outranges it and uh, can kill it quite easily. Uh, that's uh, another reason why it's so low down. Um, same, uh, nothing outranges Pikachu though. Um, you know, them each Pokemon's matchup with all the Pokemon that basically also determines where they should be. And it's like Garchomp and. Nothing really can 1v1 a Garchomp. I've even, I, I've played a lot of Garchomp and I've managed to 1v3 as a Garchomp. So, uh, Garchomp is probably the best powerhouse all-rounder, is probably the best all-rounder in the game. Um, because in my opinion, while Lucario is the best early game Pokemon, it drops off late game, um, which keeps it from being S tier. Um, but even in late game, it's still good, which keeps it from being B tier. Um, Blissey, pretty much just good all game. Um, just seeing their healing as her allies. You know, these Pokemon are consistently good all game. Um, these Pokemon, you know, they can be good, but they can be bad. And, you know, you know or they just have like, you know, these are situational. These are quite often not going to be the best option uh, for what they do, um, or they just rely on one thing like Venus, uh, like uh, Charizard. Charizard just relies on this Unite move to be good, and again, just needs a damage push buff. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.